So today what we're going to do, we're going to see how to do um, some tests in our uh, data models that we added last time. In particular, we're going to have a look at the data context file. Um, so let's get started. Let's have a look at how we organized our data context the last time. So we have trucks, playlist, and playlist trucks. So the reason why we only added those three items into our data context model is because when we actually run our application, this is everything we need to do to actually run um, a proper insertion. However, given that this one wants to be a beginner-friendly tutorial, if I'm going to start from trucks, let's say from inserting trucks, which actually supports adding uh, albums, uh, so it's going to support adding uh, genres, etc. Et it's going to be a little bit complicated. So what I want to do, I want to be able um, to add a simple class, such as an artist or a genre. And to do so, we need to modify the data context so that uh, when I inject data context somewhere, I can actually take this data context and insert an artist. So I'm going to add a public DB set artist and then we're going to call it artists and we can do get and set values and this is now i created a new class inside of my test um, inside my test folder i have a new folder called insert items and i inserted the insert artist test class and what i'm going to do i'm going to generate a constructor for uh, the class and inside this constructor it's where i'm going to build my data context. So what do we need in here? In here, we need to have some options which come from SQLite in memory dot create options. And here we need to specify the type. In this case will be data context coming from data layer. Now with those options, we can actually create our context, which needs to be of type DB context, so we have a private read-only data context, data context. And now what we can do, data context is equal to new data context, and then we provide the options that we just created. Okay, and now at this point, what we need to do, we need to ensure that the database has been created. So we do data context dot database.ensure created. And now with this in place, we are ready to write our first uh, test. So we need to add uh, this annotation, which is a fact coming from XUnit. And then we can do a public void, uh, since we don't return anything, uh, test artist insertion. Okay. So what do we need um, to test? We need to take the context and add a new artist. So we're going to create an artist, for example, uh, queen is equal to new artist. What we have in here, we have the name and the name is going to be queen. That's all we need to specify an artist. Then we're going to take our context. So our data context dot add and we're gonna add queen. Now, I would like to explain a second about what's going on here with the data context.add and why I don't recommend using a data context.add async. Although so often it looks like that is better to use the non-blocking async version of a method whenever available. So this one it's not actually the case because the add async method it is something that is actually used when uh, you need to access the sequence high low algorithms to access the database asynchronously and what is required for is required for example to access the data that you that you need for the next id that is coming back from the database and also the reason why you don't need this is because this data context is a copy of the co of the local context that you have inside your database and until you actually do a data context dot save changes or save changes async nothing is written to the database all right i'm gonna leave a description uh, in the description below i'm going to have um, a link to the microsoft uh, 
uh, to the Microsoft Docs that explain uh, this difference. I hope uh, I've been uh, uh, I've been clear so far. And uh, now that I made this digression, let's do a data context dot uh, save changes, and this is what I'm gonna. Okay. So now the next bit uh, is to retrieve uh, this saved uh, artist. Okay. So what we do? We do var artist is equal to context data context dot artists, and then we're just gonna get the first. Now what should happen? Should happen that. Um, because the database has been uh, created just in here, so with the database brand new, no artists are in there. Now we need to verify that the artist dot name dot should equal should equal queen. Okay, and in here we are actually following uh, the pattern in which we do a setup. Now we do an attempt. And finally, we do a verify. So let's have a look if this one works. So I'm gonna click on run test. And as you can see, the test just passed. All right. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, now we're gonna go back and look at more complicated types of insertion. Thank you.